Well, in the studio with me now, in uh, full Gaelic football regalia, are Maitland Simmons from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Leanne Schroeder from Amsterdam, Holland. Ladies, welcome to the program. How are you? Well, well um, from now on, this interview, you can only answer as one, not as two. <laughs> Uh, Leanne, if I can come to you, yeah. um, you strangely enough, not many people would know you did this a year and a half ago. Did you have any idea at that point that you were going to upset the entire female population of Ireland? I totally didn't have a clue, especially not when I'm from in Amsterdam. Like, you can do whatever you want, you can wear whatever you want, even, I can wear this outfit in the street and don't even have a problem. No. So, <laughs> yeah, and because we, we do ads for like lingerie and, and bathing suits all the time, so we didn't really think about it actually. All right. Well, Maitland, uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is interesting, because Louisiana is the fattest state in America, isn't it, Stu? <laughs> there are more fat people in, in Louisiana than any other state in America. Do you attribute your shape to eating three packets of hunky dories a day? I do eat a lot of hunky dories, let me tell you, but... I can understand where you're coming from with Louisiana being the fattest state because our food, the way we cook it, is so fattening. But as fattening as it is, it's just as good as it is. <laughs> now, now, you came um, you, you came here to do the sad, as Leanne said. Um, first of all, she was unaware uh, about offending Irish people. But, but the offense, I suppose, caused women because there would be a strong reaction towards something like the Miss World contest, for instance. The idea uh, that it makes women into some kind of meat market or something like that. But the other issue then will be a lot of very keen female sportsmen who play this sport are, are pretty upset that sort of you've made it into less than serious. Well, I mean, like Leanne said, I didn't know at all that this was going to be such an uproar. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of the advertisings and stuff also really focus on, like, men and the men's sportswear and stuff. So I think that it was actually a good idea, to be honest, to put a woman in front of, like, the, the ad campaign oh, as, as doing sports. I mean, no, we're not wearing the exact outfits, you know, but... We're at least putting you guys out there. <laughs> um, whose bum was it that the camera sort of focused on in the video for about 35 seconds? I think oh, that, was, that must be me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about that? I mean, uh, like, uh, already in a, in a fairly short time, you're pretty intelligent women. So, um, how do you feel that your bum is more important than your brain? It's it's my job, and I don't feel that I have to prove myself that I'm I'm smart enough to other people. Okay, I know that, and the people around me know that, and it's my job. So yeah, I really really don't mind. And to be honest, I didn't even know that I was walking around. I was actually playing sports and having yeah. fun with the other girls, and I I didn't know that somebody was following me around with my bum. Okay. <laughs> now the photographer, in fact, is pretty famous, isn't he? The guy he who is. made this commercial. Tell Walter me about Hughes. him. He's he's amazing. He does like all the Sports Illustrated um, covers, and he does really amazing things. So for us, it was such a great opportunity to work with this photographer. He's amazing. And how long did this uh, can be ad take to make? We started very early in the morning. I think around like six, six, six yeah. or something, until like the sun went down. Yeah. What, what time of the year was it, Maitland? What time of the air? Well, like, no, sorry, what time in the, of the year? You know, was it summertime or wintertime or whatever? It was, it was like February, I want to say. February? Yeah. And you weren't run, running around half naked? It was Miami. <laughs> 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 it doesn't even get cold there ever. <laughs> you, f you filmed it in Miami? Yes, yes, Miami on Keystone, or Key, was it? Key Biscayne Park. You realize that all of us simple Irishmen just assumed you were down the road in <laughs> County Meath or something. I don't think they wanted to do that just because uh, the ads probably would have came out, you know, quicker with someone, all you know, right. taking it, snapping a picture. So it would be it impossible was... for us to actually shoot there the whole day and focus exactly. on making a beautiful campaign. And I think also uh, Walter Eos was already in Florida and he was like wanting to shoot there. So 
whatever about how suggestive the clothes you wear, and you are wearing them. If if you had been offered a campaign where you, or a film, for instance, I mean, uh, you know, a film shot which included taking your clothes off, do you have a view about that? I do. Like for me, I wouldn't take all my clothes off. Like okay. lingerie, beautiful outfits like this, yes. um, bikinis. That's totally fine with me. But I wouldn't go totally naked. But that's for me. Like whatever everybody else wants to do, and if somebody has a beautiful body, yeah. My do my it. point, I suppose, is Maitland that a lot of a lot of actresses face this and some actresses say no I won't take my clothes off and some say yeah it's okay um, so therefore you as as a beautiful woman whose whose career is having your photograph taken those kind of pressures must be very much part of your daily life they are indeed um, a lot of people you know they'll try and push your limits you know we always have a different client that is will that always asks you know for more or more and you kind of have to have that kind of I don't know self-worth that you have inside of you that you're like well no maybe I don't you know it's just what it's your personal preference to be honest like for me I wouldn't do that the, you have to have your boundaries yeah, yeah the, for in, sure. the interesting thing when a lot of when I covered this for Rory on the radio just a couple of weeks ago the international track and field championships were taking place in Korea and the girls in 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 the athletic events who certainly wouldn't see themselves as models would see them as serious sports women were dressed not unlike you I mean running costumes are not unlike what you're wearing here today Leah, they're sorry. What do you? They're not. They're the same. You know, like that in the international championships, they're they're they're, they're the bottom half of the of of the uniform is as short as you're wearing now, and the top is the smallest what you're wearing. So, so that's now we actually have the answer. So it's well, uh, that's my point. I'm actually with you on this. Yeah. I'm actually with you on this. I'm not. I'm not against you on this. Yeah. I I think I think to a degree we've simply taken this um, out of uh, context. Is is my view. I, I think the the point about it is, which isn't your fault, is there was a suggestion by the company that in a previous ad that, that you did that they were supporting the sport, whereas they weren't sponsors of the sport. And but that's not your problem. What what you might tell me, because um, whilst I'm getting a lot of people here that they don't want to uh, listen to this, you know, because they consider it beneath my my program to be talking to two intelligent, attractive women and who uh, mm -hmm. almost every person in the country has seen um, your big news as far as I'm concerned and that's why I'm covering it. What about um, the, the, the other work you've done, Maitland, as, as uh, an American from the southern states of Louisiana? What other sort of products have you worked on? I, every time someone asks me that, I'm like, hmm, t totally draw a blank. But um, for example, I've worked for Escada. I work for a lot of um, South American clients. I guess they sim. I think I look Spanish. I don't know. But um, like Casabella and Leonisa. It's. I mean, and a lot of my stuff that I do is lingerie and swimsuits and stuff. With like a lot of fitness wear, Fila. So. All right. Okay. Well, good luck to you. Thanks for coming over. Thanks Thank for you. dropping in. The Hunky Dory Girls, uh, Maitland Simmons from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, what? What? What's the uh, number one dish in Louisiana? Oh, God. Jambalaya? Jambalaya. <laughs> Crawfish <laughs> pie. Filet <laughs> 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 gumbo. <laughs> That's it. And uh, Leanne, uh, Leanne? Schroeder. Schroeder. Yeah. Uh, thanks to them.